No. Oh, then maybe you can hear that humming. Listen. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Now, I've listened to this for years. What I normally do is I have the volume on full blast. So it, it cuts it down quite a bit. And I just keep the volume, you know, on my, uh, on this thing pretty low. Okay. But recently it's just been bugging me more and more and more. And so I'm going to take them apart today. Or at least, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be this side. Um, I need to sort out. But I'm going to take it apart and we're going to see if uh, if we can clear up that horrible buzzing sound because that is really driving me nuts. It's all I can hear in my head at the moment. And it doesn't really matter, you know, even over here. You can still hear it. I've got some other some other speakers um, in my bedroom that I'm going to bring in and I'm going to put in this place while I do all this. But the problem I've got is it's a mess. There's a lot of cables. You can't really see that very well down there because there's not enough light down there. But there's a lot of wires. Even though it doesn't look that bad there, this panel is hiding most of the, the mess. This is this is part of the speaker wires, and it's tangled up with this, which comes from the solar panel. And you still can't see any of that. There's a better the back of the computer. Put that down the back there. There's more cables down there, but they're all tangled up, so I'm going to have to sort of switch all this off, pull this table forward a bit, um, just pull it forward, you know, about a foot or something, shift all this stuff out of the way, pull it forward and uh, try and get that down the back there and untangle it all and get those, those speakers out and um, put the other ones in. Um, oh, what a fun day. I've got stuff I've got to build over there as well and get it out today. But I've got to do these speakers because, like I said, they're driving nuts. So I shall come back when I've got them out. I missed that as well. I also wanted to get them out and still keep the computer on so I can carry on <laughs> where I left off. Now I'm going to go and get the other speakers because these are out, the wires are out a little bit of a, a tangle, like I said I just pulled the pulled the table forward to get myself you know speaker speaker size at the back so I get in amongst the cables. Uh, my old computer there I say it's old it's a fourth generation i7 um, even though the case I've had it for oh, I don't know this it's all metal it's like a server case there's so much metal in there it helps with cooling and I've had probably had it about 18 years um, maybe even a little bit longer, and I'll keep it as well because you know, the door is broken and it, and, it, and, it, and it will fall off. Um, and there's nothing left in the front there anymore. It's just uh, that actual drive there is my operating system drive. I don't know if you can see it, it's a, it's a laptop drive. Probably do a bit of a clean. Um, I mean, I do clean it. I take the sides off and clean out the insides periodically. Make sure there's no dust build up. And... <sighs> but like I say, there's so much metal to it. It's um, it's really, really good for keeping everything cool. So that's why I keep it. And I think the case cost me about 60 quid when I first bought it. And what will I do with it apart from scrap it? That means all that metal I bought will just go to somebody else to make money from. Yeah, F them. Right, so I'm going to go and just bring in my, uh, my other little um, desktop speakers. Probably give it a bit of a dust. Might get a vacuum in and just suck out some of this dust from around here. Um, and then so I can put this on while I take these apart. And I don't think there's going to be a problem in there. 
and it's going to be in this this unit here. I'll get a bit of a better bit of a uh, bit of a better pitch on there. Twelve watts, I reckon. It's heavy. It's good and heavy. You know, it's, a, it's a good solid lump. I don't really want to you know, throw them away or anything like that. Uh, even though yeah, I've had these for such a long time now. Um, so yeah, it's probably past or two, but we're getting there, uh, have a look and see what we can do with it. Right, back in a minute. Okay, so these are the little Logitech speakers I'm going to put in the in this place just for now. Yeah, a bit dusty. But this is something I didn't notice for these. Have a little listen to this. That's when you first switch them on. That's uh, you know, I will just turn the tone to halfway. It does need a clean because as you start turning, it gets really stiff. At about halfway, it's the stiffest. What a pop! And these are uh, yeah, just. Um, I am actually going to leave this like this. I. Right, I'll put this and this wire, yeah, and I'll put it around the back of the monitor, and I'll just pop this speaker basically over here, and I'm just going to leave it like this and pull these out, clear some space over there, and it hums more out of this speaker, which is the non-amplified side, than it does this one. So, but as this one's got all the weight in it. And the amplifier. See what it is. It says uh, it says it's a 12 watt, 50 hertz. That you can hear <laughs> speaker. So let's unplug. And take it apart. I don't think I'm gonna really necessarily need to take this one apart because this is just you know. Wide off it. Uh, this one is the one. Uh, looks like the six screws. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be easy enough to get to. I think that's a. Oh, that's an input. I didn't realise that was there. Well, that will come in handy. That will come in very handy. Because what I was thinking was I might end up making up these couple of LM1875s and put them in my little mission speakers uh, on my bench here and uh, set them up onto my computer which means then all the music that I have on my computer including access to the CD drive even though, well yeah, it would just make it more convenient for me to be able to uh, play music And then I could put these on, on my bench here, which will take up less space. Gnarl it up a bit. Okay, that's a little bit more. There it is. There we go. I should have done it from the bottom before. Okay, right. Now. I really need to just keep an eye out for capacitors in case there's anything in here. Oh, I'm going to disconnect the speaker because it looks like I can. Mm, no, I can't. Maybe I can disconnect it from here. Let me get a better look. Yes, I can. So I can just pop that out there. Let me take that out of the way. That gets that. Oh, let's just have a little look at this look. Okay, so it's a 4 ohm speaker, 5 watts, funny that isn't it, because on the case it says 12 watts, but it's only a 5 watt speaker. Okay, let's not start bickering. <laughs> but there you go, so that's the first. What we got inside? There's the 
volume control and headphone jack and the little LED and the power switch. And it's pretty good. You can probably disconnect these. I wonder if it's actually worth disconnecting, but I'm going to get them out, out of the way anyway because. What it, what it says. So it just says Sony, Sony volume. PWB, which I presume would be power board. But oh, there's quite a lot of horrible flux there, I might clean that up with a bit of alcohol. And then here and then we've got the retract fire, four diodes. Fuse, and we've got this cap which doesn't seem to be terribly bad. Yeah. I can just slide that out and then you don't have to undo these, these screws down here. And these are, they look like, no, they're just Phillips, that's good. Phillips crosshead. I don't know what the difference is between the two, but I'm sure somebody will tell me or just give me a thumbs down. The same wrong thing. Yeah, I bought myself a little helicopter. It's uh Got one of those little Sigma X C fives dash one, the new new version. And I've also been looking at the uh, Sigma X X eight G. That looks pretty cool too. Okay, this is those four screws. Can chuck those in there? They're the same as the other ones. Oh yeah, they're all exactly the same length and size. So that's good. Oh, yeah, be careful of that. That's good. There's quite a bit of um, that's that's now locked here. Yeah, there's and that's the amount of sort of space they give you for fucking them out. Now, interestingly, look, there's one. There's a shield here. Wow, look at this look. And there's a. Oh, sorry, it's, it's not a shield, is it? It's the heat sink for the. Um, for the chip, for the amplifying chip. Dope. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's a oh, it's a LA four six zero one N. I'll have to have a little look at that. Oh, I'm sure I've got one of these. You know, I'm sure I've seen this in like a TV. So anyway, I just, yeah, this is the um, this is one online. This is the one out the speakers, and I just decided to look at my own collection of uh, PDFs. Because whatever I've got PDFs is what I've got, uh, and I typed in LA uh, four, and it came up with an LA forty two eighty two, which is the same thing. It's a two channel, but this is ten watts monolithic linear IC. So it's the same pinout, it's the same everything except for ten watts. Sanyo again. Uh, the maximum supply voltage is forty five watts on this. Maximum output current, 4 amps, 25 watt dissipation, well, yeah, because of where it is, presume that. And so these caps here, are probably the ones I need to replace, there's a whole bunch of little tiny ones here. Just trying to see if I can see anything visually on it. Oh my life. These are Alamers, these caps. Oh, I don't know if you can see in there. That's a little bit they, they, they say Alma. I'll bring this light down. Oh, I hope you'll be able to see that. Alma. And they're all Elmer. 
this one in here I can't fell on I need to get my magnifying glass because there's a single cap in there I wish I could see what the camera could see properly the whole drug built isn't there? oh there you go, you can see that now there's a single cap in there now let me just look at these ones here yeah these are all Elmer's these I'm trying to see what's on this I want to see what's on these these black ones here. It's SME. I think that means anything to anyone. AC primary area, primary area danger, danger, danger. Let's try to see if there's anything really obvious. It doesn't seem to be. There doesn't seem to be any sort of swelling in the caps or. No, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, 16, 17, 18 caps. 18 caps. Hmm. Everything's got, you know, snot on it. Holding down, and every every cap has got a little tiny bit of snot. Trying to see what the what the diodes are. It's got two A O two. From what I can see in 414 Why, why, why 414? Yeah. Sorry, I wonder why this baby's humming so much. This is a 10 microfarad 50, 50 volt cap. And I think it says felon. It's got like a pound symbol for the first character of the first letter. Then Elon. E L O N, yeah. But it looks like a pound symbol, a British pound symbol, like that, but without not with the two strikes going through, just with one. So it doesn't look like an F. But I honestly couldn't tell you. Well, maybe I have to look it up or something. So that's what we've got in it, Holmes. But why? But it does definitely say 12 watts on the back foot. There, 12 watts. You can see that, you should be able to see that now. 12 watts. Well, that's a 5 watt speaker. Not 4 ohms. Quite heavy, so yeah, it's pretty pretty heavy for the size of it. I'm quite surprised how heavy it is. I can see why the whole unit weighs so much now. Oh look, this, this isn't like a just cheap piece of shit. Because look at this look, there's even rubber going around the outside of this. So obviously when this is put together, and there's a bit of a port on the back. 
this is put together so there's no vibration. So you know they're not they're not the cheapest of speakers. I know you know I probably wouldn't have spent that much when I bought them. I can't remember it was such a long time ago. It might be worth actually cleaning them up because you know, it's metal. It's not. Uh... Oh, I mean, that one's a lot lighter, but. That's only because you compare it with this one here. But you, know, you compare it with this, and you can tell this is a lot heavier than this, but that's because it's got the case as well. And, and it's not exactly thin material on the case, look. It's got like a. That is, that is pretty thick. And six little screws, they're not going into metal inserts, are they? No, that's plastic. But still, that's, you know. Restrained there and metal restrainer. So, uh, LA 4601M. So, 4601M. LA 4601M. I'm going to write it down here as well. So, well, what I'm going to have to do then is, um, I suppose I'm just going to have to take out as many of these caps as I can replace. I'm not sure what all these little, little, little fellas down here though. Like. I'll try and stand a bit so I can look at these. What the value are they? Whoa, come back. Sixteen volt, twenty-two microfarads. And then we'll assume that they're all the same. And that's and that's a fifty volt ten microfarad, wasn't it? These are sixteen volt thousand mics, these big ones here. Um and that's three. 3,300 uh, yeah, 3, mic, 25 volt. Oh, I lied, they're not all Alan. This is Nichicon. This says Nichicon. I know you can't see it from there, but it does. It says Nichicon, and look at the colours as well. I'm all thinking about it. So, um, yeah, so there's some good stuff in here. Well, yeah, well, it's not the cheapest of the cheap, is it? Cheap. Sony amp. So the board Sony. It says so here. And you can see that. It's a Sony. Hmm. Okay. Can't tell. Fuse. I don't know if the fuse is good because it still will work. I can't tell it's a slow, it's just regular fuse, isn't it? 0.25 amp, 250 volt. Okay, well. So these are Nichicon VR M range. I presume that's what I mean. Then we've got some 4.2 picofarads, no uh, microfarads, sorry, a whole bunch of these 4.2 microfarads, these ones in here, uh, 16 volts. But they're all Alna, they're all Alna, so. so not too bad. So I suppose then I need to take out at least some deep part of the kit. Look at these traces. Look at it. That's where it's been. Then you've got like this additional bit like these. Where, well, obviously, they've been soldered in afterwards anyway because of the wires, aren't they? Huh. 
Okay, well, that's as far as I can go at this minute in time because I'm going to start desoldering sides of these caps and do some tests. Yeah, it turns out I'm probably going to have to replace quite a few and I haven't got all these, so I'll have to see how easy it is to take them out. And there's nothing, well, there's a whole bunch of surface mount resistors as well. None of the capacitors. That's going to make life difficult. Well, I don't, I don't know, because they're already little tiny solder joints, so I should be able to get in and around them. But just for now, I'm going to pop that back in there. And, um, and uh, I have to go on a hunt for some capacitors. See if I can actually sort this out. Put back in the right way around. I'll just put them down in the old uh, repair section over yonder. And when I've seen that's going to get like that, I'm not going to push that back in too far. I'm going to put that into all the screws out of the way. I'll get that power board and just dunk that in down there. And come back to this. So, I should be back in a little bit.